welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this neon ombre cut crease makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to stay tuned if you'd like to see how to achieve this look. It's like glitter eyeliner and winged eyeliner. So yeah, I really like how it turned out and I hope you guys do too. Just keep on watching and I'll see you guys after. So as you guys can see, I've already got my brows base and one eye done. I didn't do my highlighter or lips yet um, and I haven't done this eye so I'll be doing that on camera and the rest of my face um, but yeah I just wanted to get it started. This is what the look is. It's like a, a ombre cut crease with eyeliner and yeah I hope you guys like it. Um, let's go ahead and do this eye. Also you guys can let me know if you would like to see a brow tutorial because I would totally be interested in doing that. So I did get quite a bit of fallout with this look because I'm using a lot of colors and I had to build them up. I'm going to be using some loose powder and I'm going to pack a bunch of this underneath my eye. I did the same thing for the other eye. So that way when the fallout comes and I'm done with the look, I can go ahead and dust it off and the colors will go away with it. For palettes, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette, Morphe 35B, and a series of colors from my custom. I will be using the yellow, orange, and pink shades throughout all of these palettes. So they're like none in particular, I'm just mixing a bunch. You can use any colors that you have or you could switch out these colors for any neutrals or any other you know, shades that you would like. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through these next couple steps, but basically what I'm doing is taking a small brush and I'm using the yellow color and placing it right above my crease, then I'm going to be blending it into an orange shade and then a pink shade. I'm going to be just mixing back and forth and really just, you know, connecting them all to each other and also making a sort of swoop shade and yeah. You guys will see that in a minute. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll just show you guys and hopefully you will get it. Okay, so I know it's looking a little rough right now, but it'll look better in a minute when we carve out the cut crease. So now I'm going to be taking a very small kind of brush and we'll be dipping it in some concealer. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape, which I recommend a very high coverage concealer when you're working with cut creases because it makes it a lot easier and it won't look as cakey. So I'm just going to find where my crease is and go a little bit above it and then carve it out and then wing it out just like this. Right where that liner is, I'm going to be doing the cut crease. I'm going to dust off powder under my eyes, and then we can do the glitter eyeliner. So for the glitter eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and line it with some duo lash glue. It's super easy to get precision lines with this, so I can just, um, you know, line it. And then I'm going to put the glitter on, and I'm using the NYX Glitter in Gold. Yeah, it's like really pretty. It's just like a standard gold glitter. Now I'm going to go in with a clean brush and just blend the edges so they're softer. And now we can go ahead and do the eyeliner. So I'm just going to do a black wing, as you guys can see, and I will do that off camera because I cannot do it on camera. Okay, now we're going to curl the lashes, apply some mascara, this is the Maybelline Rocket Volume, and then I'm going to apply these Ardell Lashes in 601. And now we can move on to the lower lash line. So I'm just going to repeat the same process, putting yellow here, orange, and then pink, just like the upper lash line. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara on my lower lashes as well. Okay, so here are the eyes done. I really, really like how they turned out. They're like starburst eyes, kind of. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm also going to apply some white eyeliner in my lash line. It really makes the eyes pop. Okay, so now for highlighter, I'm going to use 
my um, Jeffree Star Ice Cold and Becca Champagne Pop mixed together. I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks. Yes. Oh my gosh, why am I obsessed? Sometimes I actually look at my face and I'm like, oh, I like it matte. And then I put highlighter on and I'm like, wow, I'm, I was crazy for thinking that before because look at the glow. Girl. Take it into a whole new level. Whole new level. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go ahead and use this NYX Liquid Suede in Life's a Beach. And this is kind of really poppy kind of color. I don't know if it's going to look good on me. It's very like, it's very neon. And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It might wash me out, but whoa. I will say it's very pigmented. All right, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see. And I will see you guys in my next video.